So we're going to see an example. First of all, let's look at the example, which is the industrial example five. There are three machines, each with its own start and stop buttons. Any two machines may run at one time. Also, any one may run by itself. Each start button is to have a seating circuit. We need to construct the ladder diagram for the given example. Let's head over to the OpenPLC editor and construct the ladder diagram. So we are here. After, I need to create a new project and to do that, I will press Ctrl N. So with that, I will click on to create a new folder and I will name it as industrial example file. Then I will select the folder. And after I will change the language to the letter diagram and I will press OK. I will drag this down. Right click onto the mouse and sorry, right click onto the mouse and Click on the power rail, then press enter, then add another power rail, and press enter, then align them. start with the variables with the type boolean I need to create three machines. Also three stop buttons. Then I'm going to add a contact which will be our normally closed contact for my first rung then after I will add another contact in series and I'm going to add another contact In series and modify it as negated then I need a coil which is going to be our machine first Need another contact normally closed and I will keep it in parallel with the machine second here. Then on to the second rung, I'm going to start with stop 2, which is negated, adjust its size, then stop 
find these pins add another contact which is going to be our normally open contact and I will address it as start second then join these pins add two more contacts which is machine 3 And first, adjust the size 10 onto the coil. Find the pins, then onto the th third one. which will be more or less same as the first two rungs so I created the third rung here now we may start the simulation I will click on the start PLC simulation The simulation is complete. I will click on the glasses here. Then, after I will drag this up. Okay, now let me show you the machine first, second, and third. So, when I modify the start first to true machine first will go on and both the machine first and machine second will go on machine first and machine third is now on machine second and machine third is now on with the stop when I force it to true it will stop the machine Now there's a little bit mistake here and instead of machine 3 here should be machine first then this will work as it should work I will stop the simulation As you can see now, when I modify start first and start third, these two machines will go on without the buzzer thing. Now with this, our video ends here. Thank you for watching.